Episode 4 of my free 6-part video series regarding core and back immersion therapy. Introducing the comprehensive guide of core and back immersion therapy and the significance of PNF pattern and self myofascial release utilizing a bolster. Hi, my name is Annie and welcome back to my channel, Annie Pilates Physical Therapist. Join me for a lovely core activating Pilates to improve your postural muscles. With this video, if you make one promise is that you absolutely cannot afford to miss this video. So grab your mat, your elastic band, and your bolster ready and take notes and start applying my core and back immersion therapy. You know the good saying says, good things come to those who wait. Well, this has been the works for the last 20 years as a physical therapist and 17 years as a Pilates and yoga instructor. So in this video, I'll be combining my Pilates yoga and physical therapy fused together to really improve your overall posture muscles. In this video, I will be unveiling the precise steps you need to take in order to regain a stronger core, a stronger back, and improve overall posture utilizing just the bolster and elastic band. If you don't have this, you can roll a towel in six inch diameter to support and give the proprioceptive feedback that you need. And if you don't have elastic band, you can still join me, especially for those absolute beginners. As mentioned in my previous videos of my free six part video series where I break down what is core and back immersion therapy in video one, and then video two, we learn about proper breath work and neutral spine. Video three is when we did some feasible to improve the stamina endurance of your core without twisting your spine. And this will be very important now with you for as we get stronger, I'll be discussing techniques such as engaging the core, utilizing breath work as well, combining everything, enhancing our mind-body awareness because that's why if you haven't done my video one to video three, I recommend you do that first so that when you do the video four, you are more prepared because it gets harder because this will increase your stamina, your endurance, utilizing my band and the bolster because the self myofascial release is a little bit deeper stretches that you haven't done maybe before. It's going to be a little bit releasing a lot of tension, especially in your upper back, thoracic, and hips. The lumbopelvic hip complex is usually neglected and it has a vital role in fixing back pain. So if you don't have that strength, stamina, flexibility on this area, then you haven't emphasized the importance of this. I usually emphasize the significance of engaging the core while keeping everything in neutral position. So as I said, if you haven't watched the first three videos, I strongly recommend doing so before proceeding to this program as they contain valuable and practical information about my core and back immersion therapy so you can start implementing right away to finally fix your back pain, your chronic back pain. If you have quadratus lumborum pain, which is a one-sided spasm and tightness here, but you have weakness on your glutes because you've been sitting a lot with your sedentary lifestyle because of work or whatever reasons you have from a medical perspective, then you have dead butt syndrome. And it happens a lot because of our technology, everything, it makes us sit more than what we need. So in this fourth video, I'll be focused on the remarkable PNF patterns. I'm sure some of you know about it already because I love to share this and I won't stop sharing it because it's so effective. The PNF pattern is always neglected by some therapists as well. And this is something I always apply to all of my patients. The proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation is an advanced form of flexibility training that combines stretching and muscle relaxation and activation to achieve the maximum static flexibility. And when combined with the use of an elastic band, the pattern strengthens the body and limbs in a safe and effective manner, particularly for individuals with weak back, core, and postural muscles. Because most of patients that I have also, they lift weights in the gym, but guess what? They don't have the type one slow twitch muscle fibers activated. And guess what happened to your joints, your ligaments and tendons, they get inflamed. So by incorporating PNF pattern and my core and back immersion therapy or CBI therapy, a combination of Pilates yoga and physical therapy, we can optimize our daily movements and tasks. Additionally, I'll be demonstrating some self partial release using a bolster. And it gets more intense after combining that because it's like, hitting three birds in one stone, your core, flexibility, mobility, and stability. So just imagine, there's so much time-saving movement patterns 
you don't have to stay in the gym for hours to get the same result for 10-15 minutes. So the proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation saves a lot of time. It's a therapeutic exercise approach that utilizes proprioceptive, cutaneous, and auditory input, which is my verbal, tactile is the bolster. There's a lot of cueings and visual demonstrations that I'm gonna do. That's why I love making videos. All my cueings from verbal, auditory, from breathing are so important to improve the motor output and play a crucial role in rehabilitating various injuries. Whatever your injuries are, you'll be surprised. All you need is to do, move in the right way, not causing more pain. I don't believe in no pain, no gain. I believe movement without increasing pain. You might get sore because we're building muscle, but that's different from excruciating pain. So PNF patterns techniques are commonly used in sports medicine to enhance strength, flexibility, and coordination while also addressing deficits in kinesthetic sense, which means when you're in pain, you don't know where your position is. You get disconnected from your brain to your muscles, and guess what? You are discoordinated. And that's why my program is like dancing. It's like you're moving through patterns, slow controlled, like a slow dance. And then the more you practice, it gets easier. So why is this important? It strengthens the deep posture muscles. So if you don't strengthen your deep posture muscle, there's no stability, no control. And especially the slow twitch muscle fibers that's responsible for maintaining proper posture. Once you train your posture muscles, you don't have to think about sitting up straight. It's more automatic because it's always firing in the right form. So weakness in these areas can lead to poor posture, which is why it's crucial to support them through PNF pattern and my CBI therapy. It's time to bid farewell to back pain with core and poor posture and welcome to a stronger core, improved flexibility, better posture and pain-free life with an active and healthy lifestyle. So let's begin the program. So we're going to start lying your back with the bolster. First, we're gonna have it horizontal on your mid-back. So in this position, you're gonna feel in your thoracic spine, there's a lot of forward posture, lifestyle, and you wanna start activating them. Engage your core, belly button to your spine, chin tuck to protect your neck. And we're gonna start horizontal abduction and slowly lean back and feel that stretch. Roll it near your scapular muscle and look up. Inhale and then exhale, squeeze your core in. Inhale. In back, exhale in, four more, inhale, slowly stretch, you're going to feel that on your upper back, three more as you breathe in, belly rise, exhale, chin tuck, last one, and out. Now we'll do PNF pattern, PNF pattern is when reaching with your thumb down, one hand on your hip, one on your side, and reach and look, follow your hand with your eye gaze. So I'm looking towards my right, looking down, looking up, feeling that on your neck. You might feel a lot of neck weakness, especially for those who've been looking down on your phone. And that's why we need to strengthen them. So you crisscross, thumbs down as you reach for your hip, thumbs up as you pull to the side. Inhale in, exhale up. Now let's switch to the other side. You might find one side weaker, and one side stronger, thumbs in, thumbs up, look up. Thumbs down, thumbs up. With your breath work, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Now we're gonna place the bolster vertical. So you're gonna feel, make sure you're not lying on your neck, on your lumbar spine. So this length is not too long, just perfect for my height. So it's not your lumbar spine just above in your thoracic and then your head and your neck is supported. So now you're gonna feel pressure on your thoracic spine if you have scoliosis. So you wanna start horizontal abduction again to warm up. Inhale, squeeze your core in, exhale, center. Breathe in, squeeze as much as you can as you pull back, touching the floor if you like, exhale, center. Breathe in. Score your engage, exhale. Last one. And now we're gonna do the diagonal. Place your hand on your thumb, down, towards across your body, thumbs down, and then pull up. Inhale, look down, follow your hand with your eye gaze. Up, inhale, exhale up. Last one. 
and up. And now we're gonna switch right hand on your side of your hip, left thumb down, and then the thumb movement is so important because that's when your internal rotate and external rotate. Look down towards your thumb as you reach to your hip and on your side, across your body, and then thumb up. Feel that pressure on your upper back as tolerated. Last one, inhale and exhale. Now we're gonna do the other way around. Place your last band behind you. So you're gonna place it near your armpit area. So it's behind my thoracic area. And then we're gonna do some lovely crisscross. So press up first, inhale, and then we're gonna slowly cross your body, exhale. Inhale, crisscross, left and right. Breathe in, breathe out. Cross your body, pushing, pulling, the band. Inhale, exhale, two more. And now we're gonna do some crisscross patterns. So both hands on the side, it's like you're chopping, wood chop. And then towards your left knee. So from your right, and then towards your left knee. Inhale, exhale, hold control. Last one. And now we switch to the other side, left to right. Reach. Hold that bolster. I'm just gonna might feel a little bit um, instability, that proprioception. Inhale, lift to the side, left, and then towards your right knee. Last one, and down. Now place your hands on your side for stability for those who are absolute beginner. You wanna make sure lean on your elbows down to the mat for support, and we're gonna march left and right. Inhale, exhale. So balancing on the bolster is challenging. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. You're gonna test the water. Feel the core engage belly button to your spine. Last one as you march. And then we're gonna extend one leg. I'm gonna extend my left leg. We're gonna do PN, PNF pattern on our lower body now. Lift your foot up and you're gonna cross, toes pointing in, and then tap down to the side outside the mat. Cross your body as a crisscross lift side. It's like you're kicking in and then tap down. Balance. Last one. And now switch to the other side. Bend your left knee. Extend your right leg. And then lift first up center and you cross and then down outside the mat. Up across your body towards your left knee and then down outside the mat. Three more. Inhale. Exit down, try not to roll, hold on tight with your hands on the bolster. Last one. Inhale, exhale down, well done. Whew, that was lovely. Now slowly sit up. We're gonna do a little bit more myofascial release. We're gonna do a little bit more on the thoracic spine. So grab the elastic band and then roll down. We're gonna do a little bit more stretch as you roll down. So lift your glutes, inhale, exhale as you scoop up so all the way to your thoracic, only not your lumbar, slowly, horizontal adduction. As you go up, arms overhead, and then pull the bands to the side. Feel that stretch. Two more, all the way to your scapular area, lean back, and then chin tuck as you pull. Two more. Inhale, and then exhale. Well done, that was a deep stretch. Now we're gonna target your glutes. The glutes are usually really tight with back pain. You wanna make sure you can sit on it without excruciating pain. And we're gonna slowly extend your leg, slightly bend your knees, place the bands on the arch of your feet. We're gonna use this for support. Grab the bands really tight as you roll back and forth. Inhale. Exhale. So now we're going to do some myofascial release on your glutes. Two more. And now we're going to roll closer to your hamstrings. So hold on to the mat now. Let go of the bands and roll to your hamstrings. Inhale. Forward fold. Exhale. Up. Roll down. All the way near your knees. And then roll up. Two more. It's a lot of control on your legs and your hands. Last one. And now we're gonna roll all the way down now to your calves. So place the poster on your calves, grab the mat, 
lift to a hip thrust. You can start on your near your ankle roll and then back and forth roll. Hip thrust up, making sure on the belly of your head, of your calves. Inhale, toes away. Dorsiflex as it goes through the calves. Inhale. Exhale. Two more. Last one. And down. And that's only a glimpse of my PNF patterns. Self myofascial release. I don't want to do a lot today. It's only a glimpse of my upcoming back masterclass reopening. If you miss any of my videos in my free six part video series, you can find the replays of the first three videos in the description below by clicking on the side of the end of this video or you can check out on my playlist on my channel. I'm already amazed by the number of people who have already signed up on my early bird waitlist. It's incredible to see how many of you are ready to take your fitness journey to the next level. Sign up for the early access waitlist because it's nice to get access first before the public. I'm beyond excited. If you haven't signed up yet, don't worry, there's still time. However, spots are filled very fast, very quickly. So make sure you sign up with your name and email address so you get access first before I send it to the world. Because I have so many followers all over the world. In the next video, I will provide more information and examples on how you can really join the class and learn more about those amazing recovers and what it looks like when you implement my core and back immersion therapy. There's so much more to share. There's limited time in my YouTube channel and I wish I could share it more because sometimes it's nice to do a step-by-step guide safely and effectively. I will walk you through a detailed case study that demonstrates those who successfully finish my program, who achieve their results and they regain their life without back pain to have a stronger core and improved posture. Watch the next video, my video five, so don't miss this out. If you have any questions, suggestions, or concerns, leave a comment down below or direct message me on my social media and I'll try my best to answer each one of you. If you love my video and want to learn more about Pilates, yoga, physical therapy, health and wellness, please subscribe to my channel, ring the bell so you won't miss anything, like and share this video. Every like you're giving to my channel, you are supporting me. Until my next video training, don't forget, video one is something amazing about core and back mission therapy and make sure you learn the breath work first for video two. So don't miss out on my video installment. Until my next video training, always remember, be safe, be well and healthy you. Bye!